positions you've made on our behalf in the last year. Well, thank you. Um, I think you ought to take your wife another ring, too. But, uh, <laughs> the, uh, but thank you. Um, we actually, as, as long ago as, I don't, I don't remember whether it was in the 1980 annual report, or, but, but at least 20 years ago, we, we did say that we thought insurance would be our most significant business over time. We had no idea that it would get to be as significant as it is, but we've always felt that that was, we, we would be in many businesses, but that insurance was likely uh, to be our, our largest business. Uh, right now, it's not our largest business in terms of employment. Uh, it's our largest business in terms of revenue. And we would hope it gets a lot bigger over time. We don't have anything in the works that would make that happen, although we will have natural growth in what we already own. But we will just keep acquiring things. Uh, and sometime, some years we'll, you know, we'll make a big acquisition. Some years we'll make a few small acquisitions. We'll do whatever comes down the pike. I mean, if there's a phone call waiting when this meeting is over and it's an interesting acquisition, it'll get done. Uh, we don't have a master plan. We don't. We don't, Charlie and I do not sit around and strategize or talk about the future of various industries or do anything of that sort. And we, it just doesn't happen. We don't have any reports. We don't have any staff. We don't have any of that. We, we've, uh, uh, we, we try to look at what comes in. We try to survey the finan whole financial field. We try to look at what comes in and look for things we understand where we think they have a durable competitive advantage, where we like the management and where the price is sensible. And, you know, we had no idea two or three years ago, you know, that we would uh, be the 87% owner of the largest carpet company, uh, Broadroom Carpet Company in the world. It, it, you know, we just don't, we, we don't plan these things. But I would tell you in a general way that 20 or so years from now, we will, we will own a lot more businesses. I would still think it likely, I mean, I, I think it's certain that insurance will be a bigger business for us in 20 years than it is now, probably much bigger. But I think it's, and I think it's also likely it will be our biggest business still. But that could change. I mean, we could get a deal offered to us uh, tomorrow that, you know, was a 15 or $20 billion deal. And then we've got a lot of money in that industry at that point. Uh, so it's, we have no more master plan now than we had back in 1965 when we bought the textile mill, really. I mean, we had a, a lousy business. Uh, I didn't realize it was as lousy as it was when I got into it. And uh, we had, to, you know, we, we just started to start trying to deploy capital in an intelligent way. But we've been deploying capital, you know, since I was 11. And, and, and I mean, that, that is our, that is our, that's our business and we enjoy it. And we get, we get opportunities to do it. But the bigger you are, uh, the fewer the opportunities you're likely to get. Uh, Charlie? Well, I think it's almost a sure thing that 20 years from now there'll be way more strength and value behind each Berkshire share. I also think it is an absolutely sure thing that the annual percentage rate of progress will go way down from what it has been in the past. No question about it. On that happy note, we